we have a remarkable uh, um, paucity of, of ability to imagine uh, what a positive end-of-life experience would look like. Uh, we can only imagine um, a, a death and suffering and, and its avoidance. That's about, the, that's about the, the brightest we can get is, oh, I hope I die quickly. You know, I hope I'm hit by a truck or die in my sleep um, and I don't suffer. If I ask people what, what a good death looks like for them, they'll often say, you know, I don't want to suffer and I don't want to be a burden to my family. You know, I, I, I don't want to die in pain. I don't want to die gasping for breath, doc. I don't want to, you know, die lying in my own filth. I don't want to end up in a nursing home, you know, and I don't want to be a burden to my family. Um, if you think about it, it's as if our vision of the, the good death was a photographic negative. It, it, there's nothing there. There's no tone or texture or color. It's as if it was a hole bordered by the things that we fear. That is, is the main problem. Death feels like it's falling off a cliff. And, and similarly, dying and death are equated. We often use the two words interchangeably. In reality, as hard and as unwanted as it is, dying is a part of living. And it has, um, it has its own intrinsic challenges, risks certainly, but also its potential value. For many people, the reality is that this time of life we call dying is often an exceedingly important time in their lives and their families' lives. But our inability to imagine is really a, a limiting factor. You know, we know, if you only know what you want to avoid, you, don't, you still don't have a direction toward which to, to head. And, and so I, I think um, uh, it's really important uh, not as, a, it almost sometimes seems unseemly to talk about people we know who have died well. But it, I submit it's culturally uh, critically important to explore um, the stories of real people who have in their own words or their own experience died well because it provides us with some cultural orientation, a diversity of positive experience toward which we could begin to imagine a path ahead that for, for ourselves and our families feels like something of value, you know, uh, morally and, and tangibly and culturally of value despite the inherent sadness that, that this time entails. Oh boy, um, to, um, the proverbial good question. Um, you know, Art Buckwald uh, recently died well. He was a hospice patient, interestingly, went to hospice care thinking that he was dying in a, in a few days to weeks, uh, ended up uh, uh, living, I don't know, 15 months, uh, graduated from hospice care, wrote a bestseller while he was a hospice patient. I think that's pretty good. Um, but also, if you read his book, talks about uh, the, the importance of this time. Uh, in, in my, from my perspective, there were discernible developmental tasks that he was able to accomplish, reviewing his life, uh, completing relationships, uh, telling his stories, um, sort of making some inner peace with the, the uh, reality that his life was coming uh, to a close and being, a, being able to look forward into a future where he would not be physically present. All of those uh, sorts of things. <laughs>